We begin tonight with a story about the survival of an abandoned baby at Christmas. As many prepare to celebrate the birth of the Christ child, police were rescuing a five-hour-old baby who was left in bushes near the St. Mary's Children's Home in Takarigua. Vanessa Haynes brings us this touching story. A newborn baby abandoned on the side of the road is an indication that as a nation, we are not making progress to properly educate the population. Manager of the St. Mary's Children's Orphanage, Patricia Martin Ward, spoke candidly about what she believes is a situation that is being repeated too often, mothers abandoning their children. Officers from the Aruka police station explained to C News that shortly before 10 p.m. on Sunday night, an anonymous caller alerted the police of a baby lying on the pavement in the vicinity of the St. Mary's Children's home. Upon investigating, the officers found the child with ants about his body, bite marks and the umbilical cord still attached. With the assistance of the Northern Division Task Force, the baby was removed and taken to the Mount Hope Children's Hospital. However, Mrs. Martin Ward noted that in a time when the country should be making great strides socially, these incidents prove that women do not know what services are available so that they could obtain help. It's unfortunate, however, that, you know, in this modern time, that if a mother is in trouble or is scared or doesn't, she doesn't have the information to be able to make wiser choices for her child. And uh, uh, it is hoped that going forward as a country, as a people, as a ministry, that uh, more information will be out there for parents such as the one last night who, being in trouble, could not, you know, find someone who could have helped her. She says the end result is that the children are stigmatized and must be continually counseled to deal with isolation and abandonment. We know it's difficult and it is hard when a child is abandoned and there is no follow-up. So that even and the name of the child sometimes is something that we do not have. And it is very difficult for the child going forward. But because of the kind of care that we give the children here, we try to ensure that our child always feels that this is home and they have the love and the caring that they need to go forward in their lives. The St. Mary's Children's Home is calling on the various government agencies to intervene and find permanent measures that will educate young mothers so as to avoid such a reoccurrence. And officers have since alerted all medical institutions to be on the lookout for anyone who may come seeking medical attention. They are hoping to use a DNA sample from the umbilical cord to identify the blood type and possibly find the mother of the abandoned child. Vanessa Haynes, C News.